so we were talking about reproduction through seeds that is from seeds so most of the plants bear flowers and these flowers later grow into fruits and the fruits if you take notice they contain seeds inside them so the fruits contain seeds inside them some fruits have only one seed in them whereas some have a few seeds while some others have a large number of seeds example if you take the mango the fruit the mango it has one big seed inside it if you take the custard apple again it has a number of fruits seeds inside it if you take the papaya fruit again it has a lot of fruit uh, seeds inside it so each each fruit has a different number of seeds maybe one maybe a few or maybe a huge number of seeds now we are going to talk about the structure of a seed even if you look at a seed each fruit the structure of the seed differs so talking about the structure of a seed all those seeds of different plants may differ in size shape and color they have parts which are common so if you have a look at the seeds if you take the mango seed and the papaya seed you can see that it differs in size shape and color though there is so much of difference where size shape and color are concerned the parts of the seed remain the same for all the fruits the seeds have a hard uh, covering called the seed coat so if you have a look at the seed you see that it has a hard covering called the seed coat and it protects the seed from being damaged if you look at a human you see that our body is covered by skin and the purpose of the skin is to protect the internal organs that is the flesh and the bones that lie under the skin so in the same way the seed has a hard outer covering which is called the seed coat and the purpose of the seed coat is to protect the seed from being damaged do you know what is inside a seed so have we seen what is inside a seed normally if we take a if we take a fruit we eat and we tend to throw away the seed but we need to know what lies inside the seed we are going to take a small example so we are going to soak a few bean seeds for 2 to 3 days so we all know what is a bean plant so we are going to take a few bean seeds and we are going to soak it for that is soak is we are going to place in water for 2 to 3 days and we are going to observe the soaked bean seeds so we are just going to place the bean seeds in water for 2 to 3 days and after 3 days we are going to observe the seed so we were talking about reproduction in seeds we see that many trees bear flowers and these flowers later grow into fruits and these fruits they contain seeds inside them there are some fruits which have one seed some fruits which have a few seeds and while some others have a huge number of seeds talking about the structure of a seed we see that though the the seeds of different plants they differ in size shape and color but they have certain parts which are common and the seeds have a hard outer covering called the seed coat the purpose of the seed coat is to protect the seed from being damaged so now we are doing a small experiment so we are going to soak bean seeds 
in water for two to three days and later we are going to observe the bean seed. So we are going to observe the bean seeds that have been soaking for two to three days. You will see that the seed coat has become very soft. Normally if we place our feet in water for a very long time and then when you come out you find that your skin tends to be a bit soft. So even the seed when you remove it from water you find that the seed coat become, has become soft. Now we are going to open up the bean seed. We are going to split the bean seed and we are going to observe what is inside the bean seed. You will see seed leaves. So once that bean seed you open, you split it in two, you will find seed leaves inside it. And the seed leaves inside a seed are called cotyledons. So the soaked bean seed, you will observe that the seed coat has become soft. Now we are splitting the bean seed and we will find seed leaves inside the bean seed. And these seed leaves that is found inside a seed are called your cotyledons. These cotyledons contain all the food supply for the baby plant. So these seed leaves which is found inside the seed are called cotyledons. And the purpose of this, these cotyledons is that they contain all the food supply that is required for a baby plant. And we see that seeds with two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous. So we see that if a seed has two cotyledons then it is called dicotyledonous. Di means two. So we see that Di means two. Dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. It is known as dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. For example, is your kidney beans. A corn seed has only one cotyledon. If you observe a corn seed it has only one cotyledon and is called as monocotyledonous or monocot seed. So di means two and mono means one or single. One or a single. So when a cotyledon so the seeds which have two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous or dicot seeds and seeds with one cotyledon are called monocotyledonous or your monocot seeds. So we have a diagram to explain the structure of a seed. So if you have a look at the first diagram it is a bean seed and we see that it is dicotyledon that is it has two cotyledons so we are splitting the bean seed and we observe that is it has two cotyledons inside we have already seen that the cotyledons are as it has all the food supply for the baby plant so it has two cotyledons we have the seed coat that is the outer covering the seed coat then we have the two cotyledons and then we have the seed leaves. So they are the leaves that is found inside a seed. And the bean seed is dicotyledon that is, it is as two cotyledons. And the next picture is the corn seed and it has only one cotyledon and it is known as monocotyledonous or your monocot seeds. So if you observe, you'll see the seed coat. Then you have the single cotyledon. You have the tree, first true leaves. So these are the parts of the seed. 
so once we have soaked the bean seeds and when we observe it after two or three days we see that the seed coat has become very soft then we split the bean seed and we observe what is found inside the seed you will see that it has seed leaves so this is the leaves that is found inside the seed so these are the leaves this is for a dicot seed and this is for a monocot seed these are the leaves and and these are called the seed leaves are called cotyledons and these cotyledons they contain all the food supply for the baby plant and the seeds with two cotyledons so if you observe there are two cotyledons and hence it is known as dicotyledonous or your dicot seeds example is your kidney beans the next is if you take a look have a look at the corn seed it has only one single cotyledon and hence it is known as monocotyledonous or your monocot seed next we are going to open the cotyledons the baby plant that is found inside it is called the embryo so once we have found the cotyledon we are going to open the cotyledon and once we open the cotyledon you will find a baby plant inside the cotyledon which is called the embryo and the embryo has a shoot and a root so the embryo has a shoot and a root so once we have opened the seed and we have found the cotyledon next we are going to open the cotyledon and once we open the cotyledon we find a baby plant inside it which is called the embryo and the embryo has a shoot and a root